Welcome. Tonight we join Jesus' story on this night before his death. We bring with us the realities of our own living, sorrows, joys, worries, hopes, all cling to us like dust to our feet. We come before because Jesus calls us together in song and prayer and storytelling and feasting. May you find living water for your soul in this time and place. A scripture reading from Mark's Gospel in chapter 14. On the first day of unleavened bread, when the Passover lamb is sacrificed, the disciples said to him, where do you want us to go and make preparations for Passover? So he sent his two disciples into the city saying, go and find the man carrying a water jar who will meet you. Follow him and wherever he enters, say to the owner of the house, the teacher asks, where is my guest room that I may eat Passover with my disciples? He will show you a large room upstairs, furnished and ready. Make preparations for us there. So the disciples set out and went into the city and found everything as he had told them. And they prepared the Passover meal. Jesus gathered with his friends to celebrate Passover. It is a meal that reminds the people of God how God brought them through the waters into freedom. As we light this candle tonight, we remember the many ways in which God invites us into freedom, not just for some, but for all creation. As part of the Passover celebrations, Jesus and his disciples would eat the matzo, unleavened bread, in memory of the bread their ancestors were compelled to eat in their hasty departure from Egypt. In the symbol of the water, the salt water, we remember the tears which they shed while suffering the tortures of slavery. Tonight this story is for us. And we remember all those who are forced to leave home in a hurry with little time for goodbyes or preparation. We honor the tears of those who still suffer enslavement. And we commit ourselves to the ongoing work of freedom and creating safe space. Whenever you taste this bread or these tears, you remember the story. May our gratitude for the blessings which we enjoy help to soften the pain of sorrow and convert tears to joy and appreciation. Take, oh, take me as I am. Summon out what I shall be. Set your seal upon my heart and live in me. Take, oh, take me as I am. Summon out what I shall be. Set your seal upon my heart and live in me. from John's Gospel, chapter 13, beginning at verse 3. While they sat at table together, Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands, and that he had come from God and was going to God, 
got up from the table and took off his robe and wrapped a towel around himself. Then he poured water into a basin and he began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel that he had tied upon him. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered, You do not know what I am doing, but later you will understand. Peter said to him, You will never wash my feet. Jesus answered, Unless I wash you, you have no share in me. Simon Peter said to him, Well, Lord, then not only my feet, but also my hands and my head. And Jesus said to him, One who is bathed does not need to wash, except for his feet, but is entirely clean. And you are clean, though not all of you, for he knew who was to betray him, and for this reason he said, Not all are clean. After he had washed their feet, he put on his robe, and he had returned to the table. And he said to them, Do you know what I have done for you? You call me teacher and Lord, and you are right, for that is what I am. So if I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have set you an example that you should also do as I have done to you. Very truly, I tell you, servants are not greater than their master, nor are messengers greater than the one who sent them. If you know these things, you are blessed if you do them. I give you a new commandment, that you love one another, just as I have loved you, you are also should love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you love one another. You're invited to a time of silence, and to imagine, if you will, that Jesus kneels before you, that you might wash and be clean. I wonder what you need to say or to ask of Jesus. We invite you more deeply into the story. So you're invited to pause the video, to find a basin, a towel, and some water, and when you're ready, to perhaps wash your feet or your hands. Jesus, Jesus, fill us with your love. 
love, show us how to serve the neighbors we have from you. Kneels at the feet of his friends, silently washes their feet. Master who acts as a slave to them. Yesu, Yesu, fill us with your love. Show us how to serve the neighbors we have from you. Neighbors are rich and poor, varied in color and race. Neighbors are near and far away. Yesu, Yesu, fill us with your love. Show us how to serve the neighbors we have from you. After he had washed their feet, Jesus gave his friends a new commandment. You are to love one another as I have loved you. Whenever we share the love of God, we make the risen Christ visible. A scripture reading from Mark chapter 14, beginning at verse 22 through 25. While they were eating, he took a loaf of bread, and after blessing it, he broke it and gave it to them and said, Take, eat, this is my body. And then he took a cup, and after giving thanks, he gave it to them, and all of them drank from it. And he said to them, This is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many. Truly, I tell you, I will never again drink of the fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it in the kingdom of heaven. He was always the guest. In the homes of Peter and Jairus, Martha and Mary, Zacchaeus and Simon the leper, he was always the guest, upsetting polite company befriending isolated people, welcoming the stranger. He was always the guest. And when we invite him to sit at our tables, as we rush through breakfast on our way out the door, as we munch on a sandwich at a desk, as we linger over dinner, whether we eat in front of the TV or around a candlelit table, whenever we make room for him, he is always the unseen guest. But here at this table, he is the host. Behold, God is about to do something new, beginning here and now at this table with this community. So come you who hunger and thirst for a deeper faith, for a better life, for a fairer world. Jesus, who has sat at our tables, now invites us to be guests at his. I invite you to share the peace of Christ with one another in your household with the words, the peace of Christ be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Gracious one, send your spirit upon these gifts of bread and cup, that they may be Christ's life in us, strengthening us to serve in this world God loves. As we take the cup, we mingle our tears of hope with Jesus' hope, that we might carry this gift to those waiting to experience new life and love. Amen. Welcome to the table of the Good Shepherd. You're invited, if you choose, to pause the video to get your bread and juice ready, to commune with each other in your household or on your own with the holy. We invite you to take all the time that you need, and we welcome you to this table of the Good Shepherd. These are the gifts of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God.
The story continues in Mark's Gospel in chapter 14, beginning at verse 32. And Jesus said to his disciples after they went to the Garden of Gethsemane, Sit here while I pray. And he took with him Peter and James and John, and he began to be distressed and agitated. He said to them, I am deeply grieved even to death. Remain here and keep awake. And going a little further, he threw himself on the ground and he prayed that if it were possible, the hour might pass from him. He said, Abba, Father, for you all things are possible. Remove this cup from me, yet not what I want, but what you want. He came and found them sleeping. And he said to Peter, Simon, are you asleep? Could you not keep awake one hour? Keep awake and pray that you may not come to the time of trial. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. And again he went away and he prayed, saying the same words. And once more he came and he found them sleeping, for their eyes were heavy, and they did not know what to say to him. He came a third time and said to them, Are you still sleeping and taking your rest? Enough. The hour has come. The Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Get up. Let us be going. See? My betrayer is at hand. And immediately while he was speaking, Judas, one of the twelve, arrived. And with him there was a crowd with swords and clubs. They came from the chief priests, the scribes, and the elders. Now the betrayer had given them a sign, saying, The one I will kiss is the man. Arrest him and lead him away under guard. So when he came, he went up to Jesus at once and said, Rabbi, and kissed him. And then they laid hands on him and arrested him. Stay with me, remain here with me. Watch and pray, watch and pray, stay with me, remain here with me, watch and pray, watch and pray. I invite us to be a community at prayer with the bidding God of love. Please respond, hear our prayer. And know that we will join in the words of the Lord's Prayer as well as some time of silence partway through our prayers. And we invite you to whisper the words of the Lord's Prayer when it comes time. Let us pray. God of love, Hear our prayer. On the night that is tonight, Jesus said to his disciples, This is my body broken for you. We offer our brokenness, broken friendships, broken dreams, broken promises made to others and to ourselves. Take the brokenness of our bodies, heart, and spirit. By your grace, make us whole again that we might be part of the healing of the world. God of love, hear our prayer. 
Calling God from our busy weekday lives, we pause this hour, gathered as friends, as community, as individuals, to remember Jesus last night before his death. Amidst the silence of betrayal and denial, we hear your call to discipleship and trust. We long to commune with you and with one another. May we remember the love which holds us all in Christ. God of love, hear our prayer. Suffering servant, you kneel before us in humility. Inspire us to notice opportunities to serve and the courage to act. There are many feet yet to wash. Help us understand what it means, love one another, as Christ has loved us. Receive our prayers as we eagerly await the day of resurrection and rebirth. And we pray together, whispering those words Jesus taught his friends. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your names. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Remain in the company of God this day. Remain in the company of God. Remain in the company of God this week. Remain, remain, remain. Remain in the company of God this week. Remain in the company of God. Remain in the company of God this week. Remain, remain, remain. Remain in the company of God this night. Remain in the company of God. Remain in the company of God this night. Remain, remain. Remain.